All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your chef Kabir Morais, and let us do the chicken tikka. This is one of my favorites, and I just love doing this. So we take a nice and a beautiful chicken leg and we cut it right near the bone. Make sure you cut all the tendons properly and then you have to just break the joint and just twist the bone and pull it out. So there you go, it's as simple as that. Look at the bone, it just comes off so cleanly and professionally. Okay, now the chicken leg has this back attached to it, so this is a little bit tricky, so just flip it over, you take a knife and you cut right near this small triangle, place your knife right inside through and just use your hands and take off the bone from the socket and just slide your knife through and cut, separate the back from the leg. Voila, that's it. So now you're just left with one bone and uh, before that you take off the skin which is very easy and simple. You just pull off right over it and just take off the skin. So now you're left with this thigh bone which is inside and it's very very easy to take off this bone. Just take your knife and run it along the bones on either side like this and then use your knife place it under the bone and just cut it off towards the top. Now you just follow the bone and scrape off all the meat going towards the end of the bone and once you reach the joint just break it and just cut it through. Uh, I like to keep the cartilage of this bone right inside the meat so after we uh, barbecue it actually it gives a lovely texture to the meat so that crunchiness we have later. Now you slip the drumstick flash and you open it up so now you have a beautiful open chicken leg. So this is the small bone which I'm talking about it's very easy to remove just use a knife and just work it out like a scraping motion and then you get rid of this bone. Wow, isn't this very satisfying? Now what you do is you just have to cut this whole leg into half and depending upon the size of the meat, see how many pieces you can put in your skewers and depending upon that you can make your portioning. Always remember whenever you are making chicken tikka or you want to grill any of the chicken parts on the coal or a barbecue that legs are the best part of the chicken to be used. Please do not discard the unused part of the chicken as we can use this to make a lovely broth or a chicken stock. Alright now let's check out the ingredients. Let's take some 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, some salt and white pepper. I love to use white pepper. Please you also use white pepper. Chili powder, 2 tablespoons, two, 1 tablespoon of cumin powder, 5 nice generous tablespoons of yogurt or curds. 2 tablespoon of kasuri methi or oh, this gives a very good flavor uh, one whole lemon will squeeze it on uh, to our chicken now what the acidic part of the lemon and uh, yogurt tenderizes the meat of the chicken and uh, turns out to be very very soft wow it looks so good right away but uh, add some oil inside your mixture because uh, uh, it will uh, mix up all the ingredients nicely and um, minimum at least for six, four to six hours you have to keep them in this marinade in the fridge. I would also prefer to keep it for 24 hours but if you want a quick quick results minimum four to six hours is very necessary now remember this recipe is without artificial coloring okay this is purely natural without artificial color all right it's time to fire up the coals and take our meat and start skewering them 
Do not overcrowd your, your, your rescuers. Nice and uniform. Also check with your cold. They shouldn't be too hot. Otherwise it will burn your meat. Keep, a, keep them at a distance. Check with your hands. Check the heat with your hands and according to it. This will come to you with practice. Keep practicing. Make it every time. Try, try different proportions of in, ingredients and try and see if you can come up with some unique taste. Alright, so always uh, keep some uh, butter uh, so as you can brush it from time to time so keep it moist now about the cooking time how you want to check and see if it is cooked okay this seriously it will come through experience but I cannot give you the real timing but for an approximately at least 15 to 25 minutes is the ideal time for this to cook you see and you keep on every time you turn the skewers you keep on basting them with uh, butter or even clarified butter you can use this with a brush yeah please alcohol is injurious to health okay avoid that <laughs> Well, so my chicken is ready because I can feel that it's ready. You can take a small piece and check before you start serving it. That's the best way to check. I would recommend sprinkling with some chaat masala just before you serve it because this will bring up the flavor. Now you can see the meat, how tender and soft it is. It will literally just melt in your mouth I can guarantee you on this I can guarantee you on this please please try this recipe and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff thank you very much and please let me know how was your product this is a chef Kabir Morais bye bye